Let your light shine, children. How are you this beautiful morning? Good morning, and welcome to House of Grace Children's Church Online. I'm happy to reach out to you through this platform. How have you been during this lockdown? I know you are well, you're keeping well. I believe God is keeping all of you. And I know we have missed you. I know you have missed us too. My name is Teacher Joyce. And I'm just um, going to say a word of prayer because today we're going to have church online. Are you excited, children? Yay! I'm excited. So let us pray. Remember the word of God says, whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. So whatever fears you may be having right now because of the lockdown, because of the coronavirus, just believe in God. Know that he has got your back and he will not allow anything to happen to you. And your parents are there for you, and um, we're all believing that this will pass very soon. So let's say a word of prayer as we begin. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We are grateful that we have this opportunity to reach out to our children. We invite you into this meeting this morning, Lord. We pray, Lord, that as we continue with the study, Lord, you be at the center of it. You give us clarity. You give us understanding. You help the children to understand the story that they will be, uh, that will be told today. 
and you will give us all the grace to be able to be doers of your word and not just hearers. Help us, Lord, to be obedient to your word, to be obedient children, not just to our parents, but to you, Lord. We commit this service into your hands, Lord. Come, take your place. Lead us, Lord, from the beginning of the service to the end of it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we invite you, take your place in our lives, in our hearts, and in our homes. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us, because we have prayed in Jesus' name. And everyone says, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Children, we love you. And this morning, Teacher Steve is here to share a very interesting story. Are you excited? You all know Teacher Steve, and he's a good teacher, and he will share a story about the parable of the talents. And I know you will have a good time. God bless you as you listen. Enjoy. Today, we're going to learn from a very interesting story that Jesus used to teach his disciples and every other person. Actually, it's called the parable of the three servants or the parable of the talents. It comes from the book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. There was this rich, rich person, this rich master. He had very many servants. One day, he wanted to go for a long, long journey. So he called his three servants. His three servants. Then to the first one, he told him, here is five talents. I'm going for a long journey. Here are the five talents for you. To the second servant, he called him and told him, here are two talents. I'm going for a long journey. Have them. To the third one also, he called him and told him, here is one talent. I'm going for a long journey. Have this talent. He gave all the three servants according to his own ability. Then he went for a long journey. And while he was away, the first servant, who had how many talents? Five talents. He went and traded. He traded with the talents. He made good use of the talents. Traded and traded and made five more on top of the five that the servant gave him. So he had a total of 10. The second one also went out there and was very, very creative and he made good use of the two talents that he was given. And he also made two more. So he had a total of four talents. And the other one, who was given one talent. He looked around and thought and imagined. One talent, really? He went and buried it. He buried it in the ground and sealed it. So after the long journey, the master came back and he was excited and he called his servants, servants, they came very fast and they were so happy to see their master back. And the first servant came, master, master. And the master said, yes, I gave you five talents. What did you do with them? The servant was so happy and he said, oh, master, I went and I was so creative and traded with the talents and I made five more talents. The master was very happy. He said, oh, good and faithful servant, come, I will put you in charge of so many things. He was so happy. The second servant came 
And the master asked, I gave you two talents. What did you do with them? He said, oh, master, do you know something? I went out there. I traded with the two talents. And I made two more. So I have a total of four talents. The master was overjoyed and he said, Oh, good and faithful servant. I will put you in charge of so many things. And the last one came. And the master looked at him. And he asked him, I gave you one talent. What did you do with it? He said, Hey, you servant, you master, I know you're very harsh and you just want to reap in a place that you never sowed. You want to harvest in somewhere you never even took time to sow. So I buried the talent. Here is the talent. I just buried it. The master was angry. He said, what? How could you even do that? How could you even do that? You could have even taken it to an account in a bank somewhere and it would develop interest. No. Bring this talent that you had, you have. He took the one talent and he gave to the one who had ten talents. Wow. What a story. What a story. Now, God has blessed us and he has given all of us different abilities, different talents. We are gifted differently. You might be gifted in a sport. You might be good in singing, playing an instrument, cooking, reading, or even writing. Remember, God has given you time and he wants to bless you. And during this time, we are in the house, we are not going out, we are so keeping a social distance. What are you doing with the talent God has given you? He wants to bless you through what he has given you. He has put in your hands something so nice, something wonderful. Will you be like the first servant or the second servant? Or will you just sit there and be like the last servant? Remember, God wants to bless what is in your hands. Make good use of your talent and you will be amazed of what you can do. Train, practice, it makes perfect. Do much drawing as you can, much cooking as you can, even reading and writing. Write that song, draw that picture, make that recipe, train in that spot and pray to God so that he can help you. That was the story for today. I hope you've learned something. I hope you're going to make a step and work on your talent, not to be like the last servant who just buried it. Now, from the story we've learned, we are all gifted differently. I hope during this time, you're going to maximize and work on your talents. Do something, learn, practice more. It makes perfect. Work on the talent, be it drawing, painting, cooking, singing, learning an instrument, writing. Work on your talent, just as the two servants maximized on their talents. And God will bless you. Boys and girls, we can't finish without a memory verse. Today's memory verse comes from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10 and it says whatever your hands find to do do it with all your might whatever your hands 
find to do. Do it with all your might. Now, can you tell it to your dad or your mom or whoever is next to you? Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Again, with actions now. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. That was a wonderful time together. Be good kids. Respect your parents. See you next time. Same time, same place. Toodles.